Hey there, Hexo traders and investors. It's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on The Pursuit of Wool. Today is Tuesday, July 5th. Hope you're well today and hope you had a great long weekend for the fellow Canadians. Hope you had a great Canada Day and for our neighbors to the south in the U.S. Hope you had a great Independence Day yesterday. In this short video, going to be discussing the stock HexoCorp. Shareholders recently approved the Tilray deal amendments, which was a condition in the transaction with Tilray. We're going to discuss that and what it means exactly for Hexo and Tilray. Before we get to it though, make sure to smash the like, help support me and the channel doesn't cost you anything. You can tick the bell and subscribe you've been notified on any future videos taking a look at the power group youtube channel if you're not already a subscriber i encourage you to do so you would have found this information out last night because if you go over to the community tab i communicated this late last night this is the quickest way for me to get information out Hillary deal amendments were approved by shareholders overwhelmingly uh, voted in support for the transaction. 87.246% voted for and 12.754% voted against. Again, this was found, I had a couple people ask me about where's the link to that. I want to see an actual confirmation of the link. Well, it was on CDAR. If you go to Hexo, their website, hexocorp.com. So if you go to investors, then click on CDAR filing. It'll bring up the company profile here, which is this page. And then you'll see July 4th report of voting results. If you just click on that, you'll put in the verification code that it requires requests and then this is the document that comes up right here and like I said you can see that uh, overwhelmingly voted in support for these amendments so they do have shareholder approval now there was an official official press release this morning Hexacorp shareholders approved the no transaction with Tilray Brands before we take a look at that though a lot of people were asking I thought that uh, it was July 15th that this was going to be uh, pushed out to. Uh, well, if you take a look at the amendment agreements, which was back on June 14th, which is the original date of the vote for the deal, uh, the standby agreement continued on on June 14th, but the vote to approve the transaction agreement was adjourned until July 4th, which was yesterday. Uh, some people were confused. They said July 15th. So the, the July 15th date came from this condition here, extend the date by which the company must use best efforts to obtain shareholder approval from June 15th, 2022 to July 15th, 2022. So essentially it was pushed push back a month because this original deal, or sorry, the original vote was supposed to happen on June 14th. Therefore, they had to have approval before June 15th. But because it got pushed out to July 4th, it got pushed back, the actual deadline got pushed back a month to July 15th. So that's where July 15th came from. They just had to have approval done uh, before that date. So like I said, we did have official confirmation signed by CEO Charlie Bowman yesterday and 87% voted for. And if we take a look at the actual press release from today, so HexoCorp shareholders approved no transaction with Tilray Brands and HT Investments. The meeting was originally held on June 14th, 2022, and was adjourned prior to shareholders voting on the note transaction in order to provide shareholders with additional time to consider the previously announced amendments to the note transaction. That was another thing that I saw as well as people uh, were kind of sour. They said, you know, I can't believe they did that. It was kind of shady. I already voted in favor of the uh, transaction and then they went and they amended it uh, but again that's the whole reason why this this vote got adjourned was to give people ample time and additional time to consider the previously announced amendments right so they ended up changing the the deal agreements and it ended up being less favorable for hexo and more favorable for tilray and a lot of people were disgruntled by that but again it, it, that was the whole reason why it got adjourned was to give us ample time to go and if you wanted to change your vote you could right that was kind of the whole idea behind that that delay and and why they pushed that back at the meeting shareholders voted in favor of the ordinary resolution to approve certain aspects of the note transaction which provides for the amendment to the terms of the outstanding senior secured convertible note originally issued to hexo by hti and the execution of an amended and restated note with HDI that will be immediately thereafter assigned to Tilray Brands pursuant to the terms of the assignment and assumption agreement. The note amendment resolution was approved by 87%, like I mentioned, and approximately 17.55% of the issued and outstanding common shares were represented at the meeting. Shareholder approval is a condition to the closing of the note transaction. The company previously obtained on May 13th, 2022, conditional approval from the Toronto Stock Exchange for the note transaction and clearance of the Com Competition Bureau on July 4th, 2022. 
Closing of the note transaction remains subject to the fulfillment of certain other conditions and is expected to occur in the third quarter of 2022. So it's likely going to the, this is, this doesn't mean that it's officially confirmed that the deal is, it's a done deal. It just means that the condition for shareholders approval has been met and has been voted for, right? So now that condition has been removed, but now essentially uh, it's expected to close in the third quarter of this year. So I think it's likely going to close at some point um, toward the end of this month, if not the first part, uh, maybe the first or second week of August. Uh, but I think that we could probably see it uh, sometime late this month, if not early next month. We'll get official confirmation that this is uh, officially a 100% done deal. But at this point, I would say that 99% chance that this is going to go through, maybe 99.99% chance that this is going to go through. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. Let me know what you think about this, you know, the results of this this vote. I know a lot of people were... Uh, against this, they they didn't want this deal to go through. Personally, I voted in favor of and for this uh, amendment because there's there's a lot of benefits that go along with it. It's not like we're just getting uh, regular dilution and getting a regular debt deal. Uh, Hexo's going to be sourcing products directly from Tilray. That's why they close Xenobis. If you go here to the Power Group YouTube channel and click on the videos tab, you'll see that I did a video on Hexocorp, Xenobis Global Files for Creditor Protection. If you want to find out more about that and what exactly that means for Hexo, I encourage you to go check out that short video. But essentially, they no longer need Xenobis and Xenobis was under high debt and they weren't you know, turning a profit. And essentially, Hexo is going to keep the brands and the, the strains and the IP, right, the intellectual property from Xenobis but they're going to be selling off those assets, uh, assets to the highest bidder right now. They're currently got a, a, a stocking horse bid from Sundial. So we'll see if there's any, um, any uh, traction on that, if Sundial actually does end up taking those, deal, uh, those assets in that deal. Uh, but essentially, it's just better than it, than it going to auction, right? It's to maximize the amount of value out of those assets. And now that uh, the Tilray deal states that Hexo must source products from Tilray for international, excluding Canada and the U.S., Hexo doesn't really need Xenobis. We know Xenobis gave them their in to the EU market, right, with the EU GMP certified facility in Malta. Uh, well, well, they no longer really need that because they're going to be sourcing products directly from Tilray. And things changed. You know, the Tilray deal didn't happen when they acquired Xenobis, and then they acquired Redican, and then they partnered with Tilray. Uh, so obviously when they bought Xenobis originally, that wasn't the intention or that wasn't the, the whole plan. Uh, but obviously things have changed. Market conditions have changed as well. But in my opinion, this is definitely better for Tilray than it is Hexo. But I do think that it was a necessary step in the evolution of Hexo and the recovery process here of Hexo. We know that they've been struggling ever since they really acquired Redican. Personally, I think that it was a poison pill that was issued and I think it was issued successfully as Hexo dropped to a market cap of less than 150 million and still didn't get acquired. We know Tilray went to... Uh, to try to acquire them for months. They were chasing Hexo for months back in November of last year. And they even tried to, they even tried to acquire Hexo for two to three dollars a share and Hexo turned it down. Uh, so I think that uh, it was definitely a poison pill and a way to uh, circumvent and to, you know, to, to hold off and fend off any kind of hostile takeover. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me though. Like I said, um, I think this is a necessary step in the path forward and we're going to see Likely, at some point soon, the CPG partner announced, I've been saying for a while now, that the reason why that likely got delayed is because of the fact that the Tilray deal got delayed and then amended and then had to get adjourned, right, until July 4th. So I think that we're likely going to see this CPG partner at some point uh, right after the Tilray deal. But now, like I said, it's pretty much a guarantee uh, at this point that the deal is going to go through. Thanks again for joining us on The Pursuit of Wealth. If you could smash the like on your way out, I would appreciate it. And tick the bell, you'll be notified on any future updates. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.